morning guys golly so it is what time is it it is 2 37 in the morning and i am on the road uh i'm fixing to go up here and meet the sheriff and start for mr steve gladney and we headed to missouri on a turkey hunt so i'm gonna go up here and meet uh so y'all y'all remember uh, you, can, you can go back and watch the uh, videos whenever I came up here me and some of the guys came up here and deer hunted up here at uh up here at Roy's so I'm headed back up here we're gonna go up here and we're gonna get after some turkeys for a couple days I don't know we got about a 12 hour ride 10 to 12 hour ride just just depending on how you drive it so obviously I'll be with the sheriff so I ain't gonna be speeding but I ain't one to drive fast anyway you know to be honest so uh gonna go up here man i really i'm i'm looking for look look at my light because my lights in the truck are not real good i am looking super duper forward to uh to going up here and uh getting after these turkeys let me turn y'all around i am looking forward to going up here and just hunting some turkeys for a couple days i hadn't had a been playing a lot of baseball which i'm not complaining about uh, but I'm looking forward to going up here and chasing some big old googly headed goblin turkeys. These, these turkeys up here are just, they're just a different turkey than our turkeys at home. They are Easterns, kind of same species of turkeys that, that we have at home, but man, they're, you know, we're so far north and they are big, big, big headed, big wings, big feet, spurs, beard, every, everything about them. They're just, they're 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 big turkeys so y'all uh y'all come up here follow along and uh take you on a little turkey trip 2022 turkey tour baby all right so if y'all watch many of my videos you know what time it is we at love's truck stop gonna, gonna get a little gonna get a little gas and uh <clears throat> it is i don't know about 7 30 like i said we left about three this morning so i've been on the road about four and a half hours i'm gonna go in here and get me something to eat i'm hungry and i need a mountain dew uh roy and mr leland they're, they're already up there so they're they're hunting i don't i don't i don't really think they've had any luck yet but the weather's been kind of bad so hope this uh weather's gonna gonna slip slick off and it'll be good but meanwhile this is not good look at that $3.89 a gallon. Golly, it hurts to watch that, watch that thing. For some reason, the top number is a whole lot bigger than the bottom number. <laughs> Always like a love. So Roy called, and we got to run in here and get us a battery. So we at O'Reilly's. We still got about an hour to drive, but we finna go in here and see if we can get one. 51 REXT. Yep, right here. 51 REXT. That's the one you're looking for right there. And I guess that is that. Is that right. We have made it. If y'all ain't never had pizza at Casey's, then you missing out. Get a 24 pack of Mountain Dew. And this is what I'm here for right here. Pizza, baby. All right, so I got two pieces of pizza, some milk. 
some Mountain Dew. I'm gonna be ready to go. We coming up again. It is windy, windy, windy. Got all our stuff. We are in Unionville, Missouri. So we will be ready to rock and roll. Got all our stuff back here. Boy, that sucker right there is mine. It's gonna kill a turkey. So y'all follow along. It is ridiculous that gas is as expensive as it is. I mean, it's golly, it's bad. I mean, $100 every time you fill the darn, darn truck up. So we're gonna get here this afternoon and we're gonna try to go roost one. I I hope so. So y'all sit tight. I'll do some video and once I, once I, once we get there. So they're gonna come down here and try to catch a fish. I think there's a gobbler strutting right over this, right over this levee. I'm gonna ease up here and see if I can see him. I think I saw one as we were coming down here, but we're really not down here. Gonna try to catch a fish. It's hot fast, don't it? You know, I kind of fry up some fish. Where's your uh? Oh, I, 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 I see it right here. Mm. It's gonna be good right there, Sheriff. Yeah, they it yesterday. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we if this some we caught last year or some we caught yesterday. Yeah, that's what they said. Though a couple of them some of them fish that they caught last year that they were fishing for. Oh, is that right? Damn, boy, this gonna be so good. <laughs> and he said we got and he said our goal was to put him on the olympic shooting team right and he said we got to messing with him and doing all this stuff with him he said make a long story short he they said, were shooting oh, a bow or gun no gun guns. he said the last day we walked down and handed him two bullets and put a he it was either five or ten pound sack of sugar on his gun barrel and told him to shoot the target he said he did both of them touch he said make a long story short he said he shot in the Olympics three or four times and won it once. But he said, he and we was talking about the bow, and he said, you're talking mine. Talking about target panic. He yeah. said, if you ever pull that bow back, and he said, anything enters your mind other, other than, than the bow target, That's right. he said, let it die because you're not going to hit yeah. it. He said, if you get to saying, well, I, don't, I hope it, I think it's 50 yards, yeah. you know, just anything. He said, you better let it well, die. Well, I've heard dad say it a bunch. You can only do one thing when you're shooting a bow, and that's focus on aiming. Yeah. And yep. the minute you start talk, thinking about anything yep. else, pulling the trigger, yep. anything like that, then he said you're not going to hit yep. what you're aiming yeah. at. Shooting at a target, shooting at an animal, way different. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Like, when, I, when I pull it back on a deer, I think I'm going to hit him right there. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and, and, and yeah, shoot him. But yeah. when I'm shooting at a target, you know, I think about aim, like, aim, aim, to the white spot. Aim. Yeah. You know, and then, that's right. Shoot, and then shoot. Yeah. I'm gonna hit him right there behind right there. And I Do you start up and come down or under and go up? Up and, and come down. Yeah. And then settle and shoot. Oh, last year did you catch them yesterday? Last year. God, look at them suckers gonna be good. They're good. Mm -hmm. And you'd have that old well, it's gonna be good. Yeah. And they'd be screaming so loud. I, that's all I could yeah. hear. Yeah. This boy went with me. He could hear that fox walking in the leaves and tell me where to put the light. But and I couldn't. I couldn't hear. Did you? Huh? Just thank you this day. Thank you for loving us, watching over us, and God going protecting us, Lord. Thank you for Roy and the hospitality and the turkeys we have to hunt. Thank you for family, friends, and loved ones, Lord. Watch over us, God going protect us. We love you. Amen. Why Made three or four passes down through there. Said, Why am I going to do Said, He got out there and pulled on that thing, pulled on it, pulled on it. Took the spark plug out and pulled on it and wouldn't crank. She said, I could sit there and watch him. She said, In a little bit, she said, I saw him coming around the house with a gas can. She said, Well, he had worked on that thing 15 minutes and out of gas. 
She said he got around into it, talk, talk, the top off of it, poured that gas. I don't know about a lot of bulls trucking that. No, you did No, you did it. No, you did Fred, you lost. Set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that big son right, right there. Look, you can tell, but he's got two spurs on both feet. That's a freaking toad right there, son. Same here. Biggins. They really don't do these deer justice because they're up so high. That's that big 190 right there. Okay. And that's probably the coolest thing he's got in here to me. Yeah, I'm telling you, what right there, that's a fine. Man. That's a wolf daddy there. What would that deer score, bro? That's top of 165. 165. They were both dead. Just laid out. So awesome. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> I don't know. This has been kind of just a throw together video. Uh, just from the trip. Leaving Louisville early this morning with, uh, with the sheriff. In Octavia Hall County, Mr. Steve Gladney, and coming up here and seeing Roy and Mr. Leland, and Mr. Joey, and uh, from going and looking around, looking for turkeys, to going fishing and catching a fish, to coming home and cooking up some good bass that we caught. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunset over here, and then. Uh, just been uh we've been sitting out here some gobbler strut and uh strut gobblers and just trying to decide where we're gonna go hunting in the morning but in the meanwhile i'm gonna hang out right here wipe the screen off i'm gonna get get a little rest and we're gonna go hunting in the morning so uh thank y'all for following the fanchers God bless, Jesus saves, and uh, in all things, give God the glory. Today, more than any day, uh, it's kind of been a tough day for a couple of reasons. I mean, it just is. You always hate to be away from your family, but in all things, you give God the glory. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. Maybe we'll get out of some turkeys.